I'm George Kern, the CEO of Breitling. Welcome to the Breitling Summit webcast. We're sending you on a journey to the place where it all began. You're about to meet the three anniversary pieces that mark this momentous occasion. They all feature a new milestone, our B19 perpetual calendar. This year is a big one for Breitling. It marks 140 years of extraordinary craftsmanship. Thank you, George. And that's all we're going to hear from George today. But don't worry, you have me instead. Today, for the first time in a Breitling Summit webcast, we are handing things over directly to the watchmakers here at Breitling Chronometry, in the heart of watchmaking, in La Chaux-de-Fonds, Switzerland. We are going to give you an exclusive peek behind the watchmaking curtain and for the first ever look at three limited edition anniversary pieces featuring the B19 perpetual calendar movement, a true innovation and a first for Breitling. Come with me to meet the incredible team behind these masterpieces. Welcome to Breitling Chronometry. Here is your all access pass. Enjoy. This is Fabrice. Our resident expert and guide at the chronometry. Thank you, Fabrice, and we are ready for a world wind tour. My pleasure. 140 years deserves a big watch to mark the occasion. Instead of one, Breitling did three. Now let's meet Pablo. Pablo, tell us about the design process of these masterpieces. Designing a watch starts with the inspiration. We drew it from Breitling's rich history. We start really with the design process, where we set every detail nicely in place, where we focus on aesthetics and functionality. Next, a 3D model will be created to visualize our design in every dimension. Finally, we do receive a prototype to ensure that all of our high standards are met before the watch goes into production. What is your favorite detail of these watches? So one of my favorite details is for sure the Montbrillon on our solid gold oscillating weight which was the original manufacturer and the home to three generations of the Breitling family. Next up, we have Julian in the movement department. Julian, what's cooking? Tell us what are you working on today? We are developing actually the Calibre B19. And we start from the concept before we go further plus loin en utilizing a logiciel CAO. C'est un processus complexe durant lequel nous essayons d'anticiper tous les problèmes potentiels. Want to take it for a spin? How long does it take to create something like this? Ce mouvement exclusif Breitling a nécessité trois ans de développement et de tests en laboratoire. Ce quantième perpétuel est unique en son genre et fait l'objet d'un brevet. Il différencie les mois de 28, de 29, de 30 et de 31 jours et il ajuste le mécanisme instantanément. Il ne nécessitera pas d'ajustement pendant plusieurs décennies. Watchmaking at its highest level. Now that we have the theory, let's go and see the real thing. And this is where the magic happens. And here we have our watchmaker placing the moon phase. Can you tell us your secret? The mot clé c'est la précision. On doit s'assurer que les composants soient bien positionnés. Ça demande de l'habilité et beaucoup de patience. Now this is where we make sure that everything fits perfectly. Tell us about your process. D'abord, nous devons nous assurer qu'il n'y ait aucun débris ni aucune poussière sur le cadran. Ensuite, nous prenons la boîte et venons l'ajuster parfaitement sur le mouvement. And here's the final touch, setting the perpetual calendar. This beauty can run for a century without adjustment. How? Régler le calendrier perpétuel, c'est le summum de la précision. On aligne soigneusement chaque composant afin de garantir la précision de la montre pour une durée de 100 ans. Donc nous nous reverrons dans une centaine d'années pour refaire le réglage. And what she isn't telling us is the time and effort it takes to make it so precise. A watch that will outlive us all. It's just amazing.
Did you know that you have been specialist in chronographs since when Leon Breitling founded the business in 1884? So not just reading time, but measuring it. Precisely, and not only that, Breitling basically invented the shape of the modern chronograph. Leon Breitling made stopwatches with the timing functions at the crown. His son, Gaston, separated the function by moving them at the first pusher, and his grandson, Willy, added the second pusher. Basically, the three limited edition of the 140 years paid tribute to three of the most glorious eras in Breitling history. The 1940s with the Datora, the 1950s with the Icon, the Navitimer, and the 1980s with the Chronomat. And please do not forget to visit then and now the Breitling Pop-Up Museum in Zurich to see these masterpieces and many more. And that, fellow watch enthusiasts, is the end of our tour. Thank you for joining us on this insider journey through time and incredible craftsmanships. And this, this is just the beginning. I know that that is your line, George. See you soon and au revoir.